Hi, welcome to our Duna tutorial from Robojack. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this vibration motor with Arduino. We're going to write simple program with Arduino to trigger this or maybe based on some voltage, based on some pressure or something, this can vibrate and gives you signal. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojacks.com slash learn slash Arduino. Also to announce, I have launched my Patreon account. If you want to support me, the link for Patreon is below the video in the description. Let's get started with this. This module is sold on eBay, AliExpress, and Amazon for different prices, ranging from two dollars to eight dollars, or less or more, depending on how fast you want it. But this is a very simple motor with three pins here, and uh, it operates with five volts. You will connect ground to the ground, VCC, and then the input signal. You send a high signal or five volts, and this will turn on we don't have anything else so this is a simple vibration motor attached to this let me now explain the code for vibration motor we are defining a pin for vibration I call it vibe out pin and that is pin 2 you can change it to any other pin that is available inside the setup we define that pin using pen mode as an output so this line means pen mode write this make this pen as an output and loop uh, inside the loop which will be running continuously using digital write vibration pen out this is as if I type 2 hi this will turn on the vibration pen output high or make it 5 volts for 2 seconds this delay of 2 seconds mean when this is high, keep it high for two seconds, and then we keep it low this time, the same pen, keep it low for uh, 0.6 seconds or 600 milliseconds, and then high, and then low. So this uh, uh, vibrates like your, your like your phone or any other vibration. It doesn't vibrate continuously. It vibrates in sequence, two seconds, and then 0.6 seconds, two seconds, 0.6 seconds. And after a few times, we have a delay of five seconds it will be quiet for five seconds and loop ends here and then the loop will come back here again and start all over the same thing let me explain the wiring ground from here is connected using to ground of Arduino the VCC is connected using blue wire to five volts and then the end pin is connected using green wire to pin 2. Let me demonstrate it. So we are doing that three times. And now at the end we have five seconds delay. After five seconds, let us start again. And then five seconds delay again. So this was a simple vibration. Let me explain the code for this vibration with potentiometer. First we define the vibration output pin, pin 2. So this will be connected to vibration motor and then voltage pin analog zero we are connecting the potentiometer here and then because we need two five volts one for a vibration motor one for the potentiometer i call this vcc2 we will define another pin as five volts this is pin eight we are using it for our vcc2 output pin so the potentiometer will be connected in here inside the setup we use pen mode and then we say vibration pin out as an output this is as if I type 2 here and then we see here this is as I, as I type 8 as an output so we define the 2 pin as an output and then immediately in this line digital write VCC2 which have been defined as an output we set it high 
so this way we'll, we will continuously have 5 volts at this pin then we define the serial monitor so it can display the value for us this value on the screen so this is printing the voltage from potentiometer uh, first we define it with 9600 baud the 9600 baud is the value that is on the right corner here on the right side this must match and then this is the text after that we use analog read and voltage pen this is the pen that we have defined in here we read this this is the value between 0 to 1023 and we store it in a variable called pot value or potentiometer value as an integer and in this line we get that pot value multiplied by 5 over 1023 the 5 divided by 1023 means this pen can accept up to 5 volts and the 5 volts will be 1023 so proportionally we are multiplying this so we can get a voltage relative uh, to 5 volts and then it will be converted to a voltage between 0 to 5 volts and we print this text using serial print and then serial print this will print the voltage that we have with comma 2 this means with two decimal places and then we serial print then we print v so whatever value we read we will have the v beside it so it looks uh, nice with a v uh, remember this is print print and this is print ln so we can have a new line here this line what it does is it checks the voltage if the voltage is greater than 3.8 volts then it uh, calls this function called vibrate else it calls stop and uh, we wait 200 milliseconds and the loop continuously doing the same thing checking it let's print the vibrate and stop inside the vibrate we use digital write vibration pen out high we turn on the vibration motor for two seconds this delay two seconds mean this is high and it stays high as long as this one says so and then we set it to low for 0 0.6 second or 600 millisecond and then on for two seconds off for 600 milliseconds so it looks bzz, bzz, like that uh, interesting and then this stop will say digital right vibration pin low so this will turn off the vibration motor i've spent quite some time experimenting with the project writing the code testing it recording and uploading so you can use it easily the least that you can do for me is to click the subscribe button and leave the notification on it's greatly appreciated thank you And if you want to connect a potentiometer to trigger the vibration, the potentiometer has three wires. The right wire is connected to pin 8, here, which I've defined it as VCC2, that's giving 5 volts volt voltage for this. The middle pin is connected to analog 0 at this point, and the last pin is connected to the ground. This is also a ground on Arduino. Now let me demonstrate it. Uh, it has been connected, the vibration motor is here and I will open the serial monitor so you can read the voltage. And here Arduino is also connected. As I rotate this you will be able to see the voltage. The voltage is 1.7 volts and as you remember in here we set the voltage as 3.8 volts so if it is 3.8 volts then the vibration motor will start vibrating so I'm rotating this and you can see 2 volts 2.28 3 3.4 2.84 and 2.9 and 3 3.2 so now it's 3.6 let me go to 3.8 slowly you will hear the buzz So it's already started buzzing and uh, until those four times 
finishes the loop now because I'm holding this it will continuously doing the same thing let's go back the voltage dropped so this will run even if I turn this off those four times vibration must be repeated two seconds 0 0.6 seconds off in your application this was just a voltage an example if this variable is a temperature you can do the same thing with temperature if it's pressure distance any other parameter you can control this vibration motor to make vibration and uh, give the signal to you Thank you for watching. This was how to use this vibration motor using Arduino. If you learned something and like this video, please thumb up. Please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply.